up for sale now vehicle max we have a beautiful 2009 bmw x5 4.8 x drive all-wheel drive with only 67,000 miles it's completely loaded up with factory navigation with color backup camera factory panoramic power moonroof front and rear parking sensors running boards and a number of other options that i'll get into in just a minute it has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is their zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page, in the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. At Matching Bridgestone Dwellers HLs that are not new, but they're still in good shape. They definitely don't need to be replaced. All right, let's go ahead and let's get inside the vehicle. Let's get it started, show you the interior options. Door panels or black with the wood trimming and the silver accent the silver door handle of course we got power windows power door locks cruise control tilt wheel power mirrors got automatic headlights that come on the sunset and come off the sunrise a power tilt wheel and it's also telescopic as you can see you can make it go out to you or push it away from you get the nice sport seats Recaro type type seating, power seat, power recliner with lumbar and side support as well as memory for up to two drivers. You got curtain side airbags. Before I sit down, let me go ahead and pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. As a matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. There is no, um, and there is no odor of smoke whatsoever. So it looks like the previous owner may have been an on smoker. All right, let's go ahead and let's get it started. All right, to start the vehicle, you get the key and you put it in that slot right there, push it in, step on the brake, and hit the, stop, the push button start. All right, let's put the AC on. All right, let's start off with the power moonroof so we can get a little better lighting for the video. It is a panoramic power moonroof. I'm gonna slide the shade first. And you'll see it takes up almost the entire roof. It's pretty cool to look out of. All right. Now the front portion here is the one that opens. The one in the rear does not. And it's a one touch. You don't have to hold it. And it goes about three fourths of the way. You hit it one more time and it opens up as far as it can go, which is there. We're going to leave it open for the duration of the video. All four windows are one touch, meaning you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go up or down for that matter. We'll put them down now for better lighting. All right, so, okay, so it's got factory navigation. When you put the vehicle in reverse, you get your uh, color backup camera. I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna show you the parking sensors. You'll see the parking sensors here. So I'm gonna try to back up so you can see everything pretty well. First, the lights up in uh, green. Okay, then yellow, then eventually red. All right, that's about as close as we're gonna get. Just wanted to show you, and the front one works the same way. You got, cause you got parking sensors up in the front too. You see I'm approaching those vehicles there. Let's go ahead and put it back uh, back away from those vehicles here. And we'll go and show you the rest of the um, options here. Press park here. All right, let's start from here. Uh, this is your parking brake. It is electronic. To engage it, you pull up on it. To disengage, you have to step on the brake and then push down on it. Everything is controlled to this little wheel here. I'm going to press menu. Just a second here. Let's 
All right, sometimes it gets stuck on the, on, the, on the rear camera. Let me just put it in drive, see if I can get it to come off on that. And we'll get the navigation. It, it does. They do that sometimes where it stays stuck in the last view. All right, so let's put it in park. We'll come back to that in just a minute while it, while it gets off. Because you, you know, it normally comes off once you start driving off the vehicle here. Let's just give it a second. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on. Once you get a certain speed and you get back, I actually just did it right now, but it stays on camera for about 10 or 20 seconds while you're still messing around with it. Okay, so everything is controlled through this little wheel here. You press menu and this is what you're going to get here. And uh, to access navigation, you'll push the wheel over to the right, communication forward, entertainment back, and the climate control back. So, so if I want to go back to navigation, I push the wheel over to the right and it goes to navigation. And then it can give you a half map or a full map if you want a full map. Then you press down on the wheel. You can move it side to side to see what you want up there. But if you want to go down, you have to press down on it. And then you get the map direction of travel or map facing north. I'm going to choose direction of travel. And there you get the full map. Okay. All right. The car has 67,258 miles. It is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer on the right hand side of your screen. I'm going to rev the engine, the 4.8 liter V8. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running in Adelaide perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine zoom, no maintenance, no maintenance zoom, nothing like that. The only light that's on is a gas light because we're like on reserve almost. <coughs> All right, um, you got a uh, cup holders here in the center. Your ashtray is here and it looks like it's never been used. Matter of fact, uh, I think this has never been used either. All right, go ahead and close this up here. All right, in the center console here where you rest your elbow, you got like a two-stage um, storage in here. And there's a USB and auxiliary input as well as a cigarette lighter adapter down here. Uh, your glove box is open by pressing this button over here. And in there is your owner's manual with this casing and all supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. To close, you simply just push. And that's how it closes. You have an auto dimming rear view mirror that has the sensor up in the center here that senses bright light. So if somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Below the mirror, you got the three buttons. That is your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. On the upper right hand side of the mirror, you got a compass that lets us know that we're pointing heading in the east direction. Your button here for emergencies. Uh, this is your sunroof switch and you got buttons here and here for your map lights. All right, let's go ahead and pan over the passenger seating area now so you can see it's in perfect shape. Now we're pretty much, I think we're ready to move on to the back. Try to cover as much as I can on these videos. If I miss something, if you have any questions, feel free to call me at 305-218-5462. You do have dual climate control. What I did is I just put the passenger side at 68 while the driver's side is at 60. And all that really means is that the AC vents on the right-hand side of the vehicle blow at 68 while the ones on the left-hand side of the vehicle will blow at 60 or whatever it is you set it to. Um, hazard to here, this is for unlocking and locking your doors. Uh, this is for your power tailgate, your descent control, um, and your parking sensors are over here. That's to disable them, obviously. Um, I think we're ready. We're pretty much done up here. Let's go ahead and move on to the back. Oh, let's put, actually, let's put a little music here. Menu, uh, entertainment, and uh, we're an FM. So let's find the station here. Put that one there. Let's, uh, you can low, uh, raise and lower the volume right from here. Uh, you can lower it here. Uh, this button here is uh, once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth, you can answer and hang up here. This is your voice command, and this is for your onboard computer. This one here is to navigate about your preset stations. Your onboard computer is going to display right in here. All right, uh, let's go ahead and turn it off. We're kind of low on fuel anyway. And let's move on to, uh, to release the key. So you press the button to turn off. To release the key, you push it, and then you grab it, and it's ready to go. All right. Um, <clears throat> the door panels do have some storage down here for, like, magazines, correspondence, maps, newspaper. All right. All um, right. This is a five passenger vehicle, two in the front and three in the back. There is no third row seat in this vehicle. Left rear door panel, same way, black with the wood trimming with a silver accent. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. I'll show you how that goes. 
push that lever down there and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, just do that and this handle starts working again. In the back of the center console, uh, the middle row, the, the rear row passengers can control the AC and they have also dual climate control back here. So you can have one side cooler and then the other. And they can also change the fan speed. Down there you have another cigarette lighter, lighter adapter for your chargers. These uh, little tabs here are to indicate to you that in here you have anchors for your baby car seat. Alright, you can put the baby car seat on either one of the outer positions. Um, and all the passengers in the rear, including the middle row passenger, have an over the shoulder belt. All right. There's also curtain side airbags back here. And you get map lights as well over here and over there. And you do have also courtesy lights down there. And that's to eliminate uh, when you come in uh, the vehicle so you can see where you're stepping. All right, let's come back to the back. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged, they're scuffed in any way, they're nice and clear. You got a rear wiper. In the glass, you get the little orange lines, which is a rear window defogger. The parking sensors, there's two on each side of the bumper. Those are the ones that were beeping earlier when we were backing up. When you approach another vehicle or object. To open up the tailgate, you can do it by pressing the switch on the tailgate handle on your remote control or from the inside of the vehicle. This is a two tier tailgate. That's your bottom tier there. Okay. You also have a. Uh, privacy cover that slides and adjusts in here and that is so you can uh, have if you have valuables in here you want to put that on so people can see what you have and they decide to break into your vehicle you have also storage down here nice deep, sto uh, deep storage and if you uh, live in a state that requires a front license plate we do have that here in Florida we don't need that all right let's go ahead and close up here to close the tailgate you press over here or your remote control or the switch on the inside of the vehicle Let's come around to the passenger side. Again, you got the factory running boards for the little ones or the older people to climb on. Oh, I forgot to show you earlier. You do have also shades inside. These are manual shades, and they they um they fall on these uh, anchors here. And to release it, you just lift it up a little bit, twist it, and it slides right back in there. It gets completely out of the way. Right rear door panel. Give you another look at the interior from an angle here. By the way, you can flip this down to go into cargo mode by simply squeezing here. You notice this little red comes up to let you know that it's loose and that's how you go into cargo mode and they're independent from each other. You got 40% on this side and 60% on that side. Now to close it back up, you simply push it. If you don't push it hard enough, the red, that little red tab won't go away. So now that you see it, it kind of hit in there, that means it's locked properly. If you see the red tab still halfway up or something, that means you didn't lock it down properly. All right, um, let's come up to the front. Right front door panel, same way. I'm sure by now you noticed that none of the panels have any cuts, tears, burn holes. None of the speaker covers are damaged. And you do have also power seat, power recliner, and side skirt support as well as lumbar support on the passenger front seat. Let's pan over the seating area one last time. Before we conclude this video, I would like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credits. If you're, live, if you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, at the top of the page, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.